Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, I'm not in a very good mood. I noticed. I am not in a very good mood. We've got two stories today for you talking about how Hogwarts Legacy has, has uh, prompted another wave of cancel culture on Twitter. And these are uh, ridiculous, ridiculous instances of Kotaku. I would say stupidity, but. Stupidity. And um, we're going to talk about limited run games. They they fired one of their employees because they, they liked the wrong tweets yeah, and they followed literally. the wrong people on Twitter. We're going to talk about uh, Troy Levitt, who was, I believe, the, the head developer, head lead on Hogwarts Legacy, and how he really was, uh, I guess, patient zero for all of this controversy around uh, Hogwarts Legacy. He was actually driven, basically driven out of the industry by journalists at Kotaku, Polygon. They kept running with the narrative that he was a bigot and working on a bigoted game for a bigoted person. If Kotaku keeps it up, they're going to be out of business too, so. Uh, Kotaku is going to fool around and find out. We're going to talk about this article that came out. It was about a week ago, but I missed part of it. And it actually is really interesting um, they accuse Troy Levitt of being something he is not. No, we don't know what that's like at all. They accuse him of being alt-right in Gamergate as a fact. They we don't say- We got put on a list that we were Gamergate even though we weren't even there. We weren't even around. We didn't even have the channel when Gamergate And then was it was on. Anime News Network, the one editor called us alt-right Nazis. Yeah, well this is Kotaku unironically, not joke, whatever, calling Troy Levitt- uh, He wasn't joking alt either, but- Alt-right. Yeah, they, oh, he tried to say he was joking. Mm -hmm. And uh, this that is- That was so funny. This is a- uh, this is a day or two after they got their panties in a bunch uh, because they were called out by MAGFest. That's funny though. It's so, there, there's such a joke to so many people that, you know, everybody thought it was funny. Yeah, and, and MAGFest is definitely not all right. In fact, uh, MAGFest, uh, it seems like they lean left and, and we were talking about, you know, different conventions having, um, you know, overkill on, on COVID uh, mandates, whatever. MAGFest is actually one of the ones that is way overboard. Well, you know what? That. They lean left, but don't you know, even if you lean left, if you don't lean left enough, you're, you're all, all right. You're all right. I mean, yeah. we know this firsthand. So. Yeah. So let's, let's talk about this. Uh, this is just insane and it's going to get worse. You know, what's going to happen when this game comes out, if you dare buy it and you dare review it for your publication or you dare stream it, they're going to come for you. Oh, well. Oh, well, uh, oh, well. Then what's going to happen is they don't. They'll, everybody will just go to the places that do. Yeah, so let's uh, let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Uh, over 284, almost 285,000 subs. Woo! Uh, thank you for the support. We've been covering the ridiculous situation that is Hogwarts Legacy. For those of you who don't know, one, I don't know why you're watching this video. Um, two, it is... Uh, a, RPG game based on Harry Potter, which of course is JK Rowling's baby. And uh, Twitter hates JK Rowling now because she made some remarks that Twitter didn't like. And, uh, you know, anybody associated with her, even at arm's length, even though she doesn't have anything to do with the day to day of this game, they are alt right Gamergate bigot Nazis. Adja adjacent. 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 So, yeah. So here's the thing this you hate trans people because you, you like this game. Right. That's basically what it is in a nutshell. Right. And um, so let's let's talk about this. this is, again, this was about a week ago on uh, Kotaku. Of course, it's Kotaku. It's always Kotaku. Can I say something real quick first? Mm. I just want to say real quick. I want to make it really clear that not everybody who is trans acts this way. Not yes. everybody who is LGBTQ plus whatever acts this way. A vast majority of them do not. It's just these extremists. And a lot of times they aren't even they aren't even trans. That are out there, you know, stirring up shit, canceling people, acting like psychotic asshats. And they're not, and, and then the thing is, it paints everybody with a broad brush. And that's not really fair because um, there are a lot of people out there who identify differently. And they aren't like that. They aren't on board with this. They think it's stupid. They think it's shit. And I'm gonna make that clear because I don't think everybody who identifies a certain way is a bad person. And not at all. It's these extremists, the, the, the tiny percent that are the loudest that are out there causing trouble, that are behind this. And a lot of them aren't even, you know, LGBTQ or trans. They're just out there because they're trying to get attention. Look at me, look at me, look at my Twitch stream. You know, I'm on your side, even though they never asked you to be. So they're, they're finding more and more problems with this game, even though the game is not released yet. And if I were Warner Brothers, I would not even offer to send them a review copy at this point. I'd be like, screw you. So they said, unfortunately, 
for the would-be defenders of Hogwarts Legacy, the plot description for the open-world action RPG game, as we know it so far, involves your character quelling a goblin rebellion that, that is aligned with dark wizards, which raises the possibility you'll effectively be filling the role of a magic cop, oh keeping down those who are fighting for a more just and equitable society. So you're actually defending the bad guys, the dark wizards, you know, the people that, that, that kill people, like Voldemort and friends, you're defending them. That's... Oh, okay. So here's where here's where it's defamatory. It's also concerning that the former lead designer of Hogwarts Legacy was an alt-right Gamergate troll. What happened was because they were pissed off about J.K. Rowling, they went out and they found out who the lead designer was, lead developer mm -hmm. was, and they poured through his YouTube videos from years ago. And my God, he didn't say things that they thought he should say. And nobody bothered him for years. But Kotaku and Polygon decided they were going to write hit pieces on him, again, in the attempt to get the game canceled. And what happened was he basically announced an early retirement. Mm -hmm. So they effectively got this guy who had been working in the, the games industry for years, got him canceled. You know, I'm tired of this. What I'm tired of is the fact that people who didn't, you know, whether you did something or not is even, even relevant. Just because someone said you did something, that they, there's usually one or two people and they go screaming to the gaming companies. Yes. Or go screaming to whatever to try to get, and, and, and you know what? It's bullshit. And people are going to mess around and get and get sued is what's going to happen. And, and, and maybe it needs to start happening. Well, I suggested, I suggested that. Well, here's the thing. Okay, so let's talk about what his content was, was on his YouTube channel. He was not, as far as I know, getting overly political. His video titles included The Injustice of Social Justice, which has become, you know, a cult at this point. Yeah. In Praise of Cultural <laughs> Appropriation, which I think is probably the troll people. Are thought crimes becoming real? I guess. Yes. Um, I don't see anything that uh, he basically his stuff is like nothing uh, that says Gamergate. No, um, I, I still love it again. I want to point out we were on a list by somebody as an, an official list of Gamergate, but we weren't even around for Gamergate. Now he did say in an interview he said Gamergate, while painful, on the whole pr proved to be a good thing. He didn't say he was Gamergate. He said that on the whole, it proved to be a good thing. Well, so, then somebody needs to tell the other author that. Is this the same article or is this another author? This is uh, this is another article. Uh, Gamergate was painful. He never claimed to be all right. I mean, these are defamatory. Well, it doesn't matter if you, what you identify as. But no, this, is, this, is what, this is the irony. You have to respect everything everybody else identifies as. Well, you have to respect pronouns. You have to respect, you know, everything they want you to respect. But then if you say, I don't identify that way, but they decide you do, it doesn't matter what you say. They have decided so they can label you however they want, but you are not allowed to tell them they're wrong about who they are. But they are always allowed to tell you who you are based on who they think you are, based on, you know, tweets or whatever, when they have no fucking idea who you are. Uh, Troy Lovett, he actually, a couple days ago, it's interesting because I, I found this on my own and then I, I didn't realize I went to his Twitter and he actually had said the same thing. He's like, Kotaku continues to defame me as an alt-right Gamergate troll nearly two years after their initial smears. This made me smile today. I said he should sue I, because they are, they are stating it as if it's fact. They didn't say, well... In my opinion. In my opinion, he seems too sympathetic to Gamergate. In my opinion, his political beliefs might align too closely with the alt-right or something like that. They literally said he is an alt-right Gamergate troll. Like, as, as it's a fact. In as my opinion, Kotaku was full of shit and needs to probably have their asses sued. However, I am going to say, it is not as easy as that. Like, we all can say on the sidelines, yeah, go, go sue them. Yeah, but it's not always that easy because it's very expensive. And um, it puts you in a, through a world of, you know, more shit. But I guess they keep dragging through the mud anyway. Yeah. But it's, it's not as easy as, I just decided I'm going to sue you. Even if you have grounds, it's a lot more complicated and it's very, very, very costly. And again, if you missed the other video, MAGFest, which is a, a gaming convention uh, held near Washington, D.C. It's going on right now this weekend. Um, they got into it with Kotaku because they made this joke about Kotaku's journalistic integrity. What that was about, because they're definitely not Gamergate. They're definitely not alt-right. They're actually, they do seem to be you know, pretty far left from what I've seen. Uh, Kotaku smeared MAGFest, which is on the left last year, for being a super spreader COVID event when they have some of the strictest uh, mandates I've seen at a convention in recent history. I mean, they're like, you gotta, if you're over six months of age, you have to be vaccinated, you gotta wear your masks, you gotta do your, you know, whatever. And they 
singled them out for some reason. They singled them because out and said you're a super spreader. Maybe event. because they've proven, and it's a fact. You can look it up that that the shots aren't as 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 uh, protective as they thought they were, and that you know some of the things that they were doing that, that you can be tested and still end up coming in and saying you have a negative test and still be getting COVID from somebody else or spreading it some other way that you got it in between your test results and this. It's stupid. Um, San, I was vaccinated, got COVID. Yeah, San Diego Comic Con. Uh, that that also was described as a super spreader event. I don't know by Kotaku, but other uh, comic book news outlets, and they again had all these ridiculous precautions, and it turned out it didn't do anything. For, you know, so what they're basically saying is like, look, we did everything we could do on our part to make sure we could still have the show and still be as safe as we thought we could be at the time, given the information we were given. And you still did a hit piece on us. Kotaku is not your friend. They're nobody's friend. It doesn't matter how, you know, my, many rules they put in place. If somebody gets in there, that's ill and doesn't know. I mean, most people aren't going to go in there when they know, they know they're sick. Most people wouldn't do that. A lot of people would though. They're going to catch a flight though. Right. And and cough on you. Yes. And I'll tell you what, <laughs> when we got it, I am really sure it was from the, the airplane. And, and we, were wearing, we were wearing masks. Spit airlines. We were wearing masks and everything else. It's a long story involving this, but, yeah. um, you know, it doesn't matter what you do. I think any event, when you're going to be in an event with a lot of people, you, if you're worried about getting it, don't go. Cause that's the only way you're not going to get it from the event. Because it's very possible, no matter how protective they are, somebody gets through who's sick. They probably don't even know they're sick, and then everybody gets sick. You know, and if you're all vaccinated, I, th I thought that you're, that you're supposed to be okay, right? It's supposed to bounce right off you, right? I mean, it didn't on me, but that's you know, just you because it doesn't like you because your politics are wrong. That's right. <laughs> COVID doesn't like you because if I you, lead left more. You're a wrong thinker. It knows. It's they design COVID to do to attack the gamer gators. That's right. That's, that's, oh God. Okay. So anyway, that's, that's the situation with Troy Levitt. If I were him again, it's easy to say, but if that's it were saying. me, it's easy for all of us to say he should do it. Doesn't mean it's easy for him to do it. If it were me, he needs to sue because this is not, they're not going to leave him alone. As long as these yeah. writers are at Kotaku, as long as Kotaku and Polygon are in business, which I don't think they're going to be in business for much longer, they're going to continue to demonize him. He's never going to be allowed to go back into the gaming industry. Didn't Hulk Hogan of, get, what he get shut down? Gawker. Gawker? Yeah. So he got Gawker shut down. It shouldn't be that hard to get Kotaku shut down. Everybody shut hates down. him anyway. Because that is, that is slanderous. That's libelous. You're, you're, you're saying he is for 100% certain a member of a hate group, you know, and this isn't the first time, right? No, they keep doing this shit. They've been writing hit pieces on him for months. I mean, if it was the first time, I could be like, okay, well, you, just so you know, you shouldn't write it that way. Go fix it. But if it's been continuous, then I would say, yeah, you probably have grounds. Well, they've been laying off their editors, too. So, yeah, mm -hmm. they, yeah who, the, who the hell knows? So this is another situation. Again, I don't know the full details of it. I want to disclaim that. But apparently this was kicked off by the, uh, I think she was the community manager at Limited Run Games, she said that she was looking forward to Hogwarts legacy and that led Twitter to investigate her timeline, investigate who she liked and uh, tweets that she liked. And my God, she followed and liked the libs of TikTok and she followed and liked tweets by Ian Miles Chung, who uh, is now kind of sitting at the right hand of Elon Musk. This is a guy that was a games journo. He was called Gamergate. And uh, now him and Elon Musk are like best buds are going back and forth. So I'm like, if that's the case, you need to leave Twitter completely because Elon Musk owns it now. And this guy is talking to him like every day. Well, I, you know, here's the thing, too. If that was this person that posted this. Everybody's going to go through their timeline. They're yes. going to go through their timeline, too, like crazy. And if they find anything on you. They are going to kick your ass. Yeah. So video game company called Limited Run Games, which we're actually here's the thing. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I am very familiar with limited run games. Uh, I am a fan of their work. I am a huge. They make really good books, too. I was going to buy you some books. We just placed an order several hundred dollars the other day because they were having a big sale. Uh, Sam and Max just came out. This is one of my favorite PC games of all time. And I literally last night was looking at like, I think I'm going to order this because I love this game. And I'm not going to. Uh, in fact, if I could get my money back for the games I bought last week or this week, earlier this week, I, I would do it. It's so sad too, because there are some really good ones. That they we do gonna, amazing for the work. kids. And stuff. Yeah, they and there do were amazing some work. books that were amazing. I was going to buy. They do amazing work. But if this is the case, if this is all there is to well, it, show that, them what they said, um, that she liked the wrong tweets. Then so limited run games, put this comment out. 
Yeah, well, well, here's the person first. It's uh, Carol Lynn, and I guess the person that went after her is Pur Purple Tinker Hates Elon. Why are you on Twitter, Purple Tinker? The community manager for Limited Run Games, Carol Lynn, is a transphobe who follows a veritable who's who of right-wing transphobic creeps. Unless and until she is fired from the company permanently, I'm not giving them another single dime. Where's the proof that they've given the money? Have you given them money, Purple where's Tinker? The, where's the receipts to show that you gave them money? I've got receipts. In fact, I actually uh, have, I was going to do a, a short reviewing their Castlevania collection. I'm not putting it up now. I'm sorry. I'm not. I, I, I'm, I'm. Well, here's what they said. Here's why, here's why you're mad. Show them what Here's why I'm mad. So this person gets their panties and twist over, over the, the Harry Potter game. Harry Potter game. Yes, that's my understanding. According to uh, Ian was the, the nut job initiated the witch hunt because Kara had the audacity to say she was looking forward to the new Harry Potter video game. Now, of course, this is all that we're hearing. We don't know. Don't we know for 100%. There, um, but this is what is being said on Twitter. We're telling you what's being said. Okay, so according to Limited Run Games, Limited Run Games respects all personal opinions. However, we remain committed to supporting an inclusive culture. Upon investigating a situation, an employee was terminated. Our goal as a company is to continue to foster a positive and safe environment for everyone. Well, I don't feel safe to buy your games now, Limited Run Games, and I'm a woman. So apparently she doesn't feel safe either because uh, she had to go protected. I, I, I don't feel safe because I'm afraid that if I buy your games, I'm going to be the you know under scrutiny um, that you're, they're going to have to tell me you can't sell to me or I'll be canceled for buying your games. So I don't feel safe from buying your games anymore. And I think we're going to try to return them or cancel the ones we bought. Yeah, and it's a damn shame. It is, I, because I really, we really want some of those We games. have several limited run games releases, and I'm so fucking pissed at this point. I, like, I don't even I don't even know what to Because I'm like, that. that's such a ridiculous... Now, if, if you legitimately found out that she was into some, like, crazy-ass stuff, and you found a freaking hood in the closet at work or something... Yeah, then we can understand then, that. Then, yes, I understand that. But you, you said you, you're excited about Hogwarts Legacy, and you follow some of the wrong people on Twitter. That are literally talking to Elon Musk so every day. Why was the hell this are you? Investigation. On? Yeah, was there a, a, like an actual investigation, or what? Or was it just that one person and a bunch of sock puppet accounts getting her canceled? You know. I mean, if it turns out she did do something shitty, then that's a completely different story. Yeah, if if there was an investigation and she was doing shitty stuff, or she was using company email or company social media to do or say shitty stuff, that's that's something else entirely. I do not believe that was the case. I think it was just uh, pressure from Twitter activists. <laughs> yeah, all five of them in their all accounts. All five of them in their old accounts. And uh, you've lost a customer and us and probably other people. And it's a damn shame because they do amazing work. And um, Unless they come out and say why and there's compelling reason. Otherwise. Yeah, you tell me why. You re Tell you what, limited run games. Shoot me an email. You shoot me an email and you tell me, I promise I won't tell, you give me a good reason why uh, you fired her. If it was just because she followed the wrong people, fuck you. If yeah. it wasn't, then you know. Then we'll come okay. on and say we won't I'll say, say why. We'll won't say, say why. they had a good reason. I will. I will say they had a good reason. I won't give a reason why. But at this point in time, I'm so fucking pissed. If I could cancel my order, I would do it. And I wouldn't think the worst of them, except for the fact that we're seeing how ridiculous everybody is acting in regards to Hogwarts Legacy. You don't like the game. Don't buy the fucking game. You don't like J.K. Rowling, don't buy it. Don't buy it. That's all you got to do is don't buy it. But you're going around attacking and canceling people for simply liking the game or being excited about the game. And I guarantee you there's going to be a witch hunt. Any journalist that step out of line and review the game or give it a fair review or people that stream it, you're going to have people pop up in their streams on Twitch, especially, and on YouTube, and they're going to start attacking people for well, playing the game. They turn the tables on these people. Well, if some of these media outlets uh, continue to fool around, they might find out. They might find out, and that might that might turn the tables a little it's bit. It's really not smart to be, you know, saying flat out, "Oh, somebody is this thing because I said so," um, in a in a media publication. Like you're putting it in print, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's liable. All right, guys. So we're gonna we're gonna wrap this one up. Mm -hmm. uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye.